a good man, but he's not your type. When it comes to types, okay, because we talked about this the last time, it's a pattern when it comes to your type, patterns and characteristics, okay? These are things that you have seen or that you have explored before. You've probably seen mama, Amy, friends, somebody who had a, sp a specific type or somebody in the neighborhood and you was like, oh, that's a bad boy, that's a dope boy, that's something like that. I like that because of the thrill. In certain spaces in your life, you cannot bring that type with you. So if you see that all other characteristics and behaviors are good, why does the type even matter? You can learn to love this person in other spaces outside of what you see as far as physicalities. If you're talking about a type because maybe your type has a certain type of demeanor or maybe your type looks a certain type of way, what is going to matter when you start facing conflict? The way they look? When you start going through communication barriers, the way they look? All of that's not going to matter. I can guarantee you the majority of people who have probably married or entered into healthy relationships, they weren't worried about a type. When they got to a certain space, they were worried about what it is that you can actually bring into my life. And as far as your looks and stuff, that, that just doesn't matter. How much money? Yeah, of course. But if we look at that type who said, oh, he a dreadhead. Oh, he's six foot something and everything else. Derek Jackson is six foot something. That was cheating on his wife the whole time. Woo! Oh, no. And we hate to name drop here. Oh, was I not supposed to name drop? No, you good, you good. I'm sorry.